The core behaviours we use to diagnose autism are social communication differences and restricted and repetitive interests. Autistic children can show these behaviour to a greater or lesser extent and also have a range of difficulties such as intellectual disability or language difficulties. It's this variability in behaviours that we call the autism spectrum. The neurological differences in autism are most often driven by genetic differences. There is no one genetic difference common to all autistic people and there are likely dozens and perhaps hundreds of different genetic pathways that can lead to the behaviours we use to diagnose autism. There is no part of the brain that is consistently found to be different in autistic people, but there is some evidence that the behaviours we use to diagnose autism may be more related to microscopic changes in the way that different parts of the brain communicate with each other. Autism is most often diagnosed in childhood between the ages of three and six years of age. People can be diagnosed at any time throughout their life, but the behaviours used to diagnose autism must also have been present in early childhood. Currently, the earliest age that autism can be reliably diagnosed is around two years of age. However, we do know that children can show early behavioural signs of autism before that age. It's important not to wait for a diagnosis to start supporting your child. And if parents have concerns about their child's development, they can seek support straight away. One-year-olds who are developing differently may show differences in eye contact when interacting, may not respond consistently when their name is called, may not imitate simple actions like waving bye-bye or clapping hands, and may not necessarily point to show a social interest in something. Importantly, babies having one or two of these behaviours doesn't necessarily indicate developmental difference. It's only when we start to see a whole collection of these behaviours present in the same child that we start to think that the child and family may benefit from some additional support. Autism is more commonly diagnosed in boys than girls, and there is some evidence that the behaviours of autism may also present slightly differently between genders. It's important to be aware of these small differences so we ensure that all kids receive the support they deserve. Autism is a neurotype, which is an inherent neurological characteristic of a person. Sometimes the autistic neurotype can create disability through its interaction with the environment around them. While therapies and supports can substantially reduce the disability experienced by an autistic child, people do not grow out of autism. The incidence of autism is increasing because of changes in diagnostic criteria over time, greater awareness of autism by parents and clinicians, and better screening and diagnostic methods. Evidence-based practice only occurs when we combine the best evidence from scientific research with the wisdom of clinicians and the experience of the child and family themselves. Following evidence-based practice guidelines, like the Australian Guideline for Supporting Autistic Children, is critically important because it ensures that autistic children and their families receive safe, effective and desirable therapies to support them to pursue whatever they want in their own lives.